Um, thank you very much for the question. Uh, basically, when we talk about fashion, uh, what comes into my mind, or basically what I understand to be fashion, it should be about styling and being trendy. Uh, styling in the sense that uh, when it comes to regarding clothing, footwear, accessories, makeup, even body piercing is a fashion. And uh, artworks, furniture, and all the stuff that we see around our fashion. So the fashion is a distinctive and often habitual trend in the style in which a person dresses and how things are made or created. But when we come to fashion, basically of the human body, it's how the person dresses. So right down from your hair, right to your toe, the hair that you put on, the makeup that you put on, the earrings that you put on, the clothing that you wear, and as well as the footwear that you wear, that alone brings out the fashion. And the kind of uh, clothing that you wear determines the kind of person you are or in, in which fashion trend that you belong to. Someone can dress in a modernized way, someone can dress in a colloquial way, and all that plays a perspective role in the fashion booming or the fashion industry. So because of the more technical terms in such as uh, costume, as we normally put it, it also comes in that regard as well. Uh, sometimes people also consider it to be the fancy dresses, the masquerades that they wear. And it's all about being trendy. So fashion basically is about styling and being trendy. Thank you. Um, social media and technology at large has really changed the fashion industry in the world and that of Ghana and globalizing into the whole world. Um, the reason being that most, when you talk about fashion, it's about what you are wearing and that comes into a picture form. So therefore, the social media has given a platform for most of the designers to be able to advertise and promote their handiworks, their creativity, and their ingenuity in the industry is more enhanced through the social media now because uh, most people are now able to see your work, especially on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, and other social medias. It is true uh, they are serving as a platform for which you can be able to get to your customers and communicate to your customers and show them your potential and your creativity so social media basically uh, for instance i uh, have started this company of the fashion gh fashion marketing company basically on social media yes it all started from facebook and we move on to instagram going to twitter and other social media platforms where we just try to create awareness of the fashion industry in ghana when we promote individuals as well as institutions which engage in fashion in Ghana. So, and you know, the social media is now more or less a hub of which uh, the world is now moving around. You could see different people from different parts of the world right on social media, no longer the old traditional means of uh, selling your products. So you could see in the past, there were a lot of brands that existed in the past, in Ghana especially, but uh, due to lack of the social media, they were not able to expand to that greater height and unfortunately have died off. But in this recent time, in this re recent time, most brands are using social media to promote their products and communicate to customers and let them see their creativity. So social media has come to stay and it's going to boost the fashion industry so much to the extent that uh, your creativity is going to be well known worldwide. So I think it is very important for most of the fashion designers to uh, engage themselves and boost their creativity on social media. Technology is the way to go. Um, the fashion industry in Ghana, it's of much more of a creative one uh, even though in the past uh, things have not been okay as expected uh, but in this current trend the fashion industry in ghana now 
is booming because considering the kind of profession that I am into, where I'm into fashion marketing, where we try to market and promote, uh, distribute and sell fashionable products, be it uh, African print or other custom made products, especially made in Ghana. I think the fashion industry is having more future and potential in the coming years to come, especially that of Ghana. And this is the time and in general the whole of Africa because most most institutions are taking it on board when you go to BBC it's trending, Fashion Africa is trending or African fashion is trending. And I think it is a great opportunity for Ghanaian industry also to boom in that regard where we have to leverage ourselves with the kind of demand that is being uh, in the market now. When you go to the, the Africans in the diaspora, they are of much interest of the fashion products be made in Ghana, especially made of the African print. So the fashion industry per se have a potential and I think the future of the fashion industry is very bright. I think those who will be engaging themselves in the various aspects of the fashion industry, be the dressmakers as the the, the designers, be the marketers, be the the, the, the sketches and also who, who bring out the idea for the fashion industry to last. I think it's time for the Ghana industry or the fashion industry in Ghana to climb to the higher height and have that greater potential. Um, <laughs> wow, that's interesting. I've, I've, if I'm to describe Blue Christ uh, in two words, I will say it is the future one for fashion designers. The future for fashion designers, and two, I think it is a creative hub for which students can go and learn. Yes, I think it's the way forward for the fashion industry in Ghana to boost to the highest level that I think the fashion industry in Ghana can reach. Yes, uh, when you are a fashion designer or an upcoming fashion designer, uh, what you have to know is that your creativity, your ingenuity, your passion for the job, and you being able to have that mentality that profit making is always not the essence for which you are into the business, but how for you to satisfy your customers and be able to deliver the kind of product that they need. Uh, being a designer, that means you have to be creative. Being a designer, that means you have to be able to form things that will be in a recent time that will comprehend with the level of styling in which is in the system now. So one basic advice I'll give is one, be creative. Two. Try to satisfy your customers' needs at all times. And three, don't always think about making money from the beginning. No, you need to create that awareness of your brand. And when you are able to, uh, when you are able to create that awareness of your brand and have that uh, leverage of the brand in the market, I think definitely you're going to make it in the fashion industry. And creativity is all about the fashion industry. So therefore, you have to be creative to create new things and create trendy things that will be appealing to the society and have a category of people that you prefer to deal in. If it's going to be the young, the youth, the aged, you have to be creative in that regard and give them stuff that will enhance their, 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 their personal development as well in all areas. Um, yeah, my view about Blue Crest is I think they have the potential of nurturing uh, young designers and this is a future half of which most people who would love to pursue fashion designing can go to. Because uh, when you look at their facilities, when you look at their, uh, their equipment and then their technical know-how, I think they have that uh, human resource also that will enhance uh, any student or any body who would love to pursue fashion designing in, in Ghana to that highest level. So Blue Cares Fashion 
and design school is the way to go. I think it is the platform for which you can be able to enhance your potential and become a professional fashion designer. Yeah. Somebody enter.